Christmas is a time where it's meant to be making memories, it's meant to be full about meaning and magic. However, sometimes what can happen is it can just leave us feeling festive frazzled. And with that, it's really hard to sometimes maybe look after ourselves and think about our own needs. So in this video, I want us to explore how you can find that sense of meaning over Christmas and that you can make it magical whilst looking after your mental health. So let's get on with it. As young people, I want us to just remind ourselves about actually how much effort goes into Christmas. Now, I am well aware that you'll be playing your part around the house and with your family. However, I want us to just remind ourselves that actually it's not just about the big day. For many families, it's about kind of the build up to Christmas with regards to presents. It might be about wrapping them, it's about the tree, it's about making the home look really festive. It's about the food shop, it's about organizing family dinners, it's about cooking Christmas day dinner, which I'm doing this year. Hashtag regret, but hey, we're gonna, we're gonna make the most of it. If not, I wish it could be McDonald's, but can't really do a McDonald's on Christmas day, can you? Oh well. We have to remind ourselves that because it's gonna be during the festive period where we might be at home with our siblings, our nieces, our nephews might be coming to stay, aunties and uncles, extended family members, that when we're all under one roof, it can sometimes get a little bit stressful. And just to remind you that during the festive period, we might be lower, our bodies might be lower in endorphins, that feel good hormone, because we're not at school, and I'm not saying school will produce those endorphins, However, you're not exercising as much, maybe with the walk to school, it might not necessarily be in doing PE. Therefore, I do just want you to remind you the lack of exercise and with um, less daylight, obviously because of um, the winter months, it does make it hard for our bodies to produce that endorphins unless we go out of our way to make sure that we produce that feel good hormone by doing the things that you love, exercise and getting outside. So just, just be aware of, of, of how our brains and our bodies work. There is a real pressure to have such fun at Christmas. Now, let's just be aware of the power of the media. When we are on our phones, um, when we're watching TV, we're seeing these commercials, we're seeing these happy pictures on the side of buses and, and kind of the latest Christmas movies and things like that, where it's all about togetherness and fun and magic. And actually, that puts even more pressure on us as normal everyday humans to make the best out of our Christmas. So just be aware that there is a pressure to have a certain element of magical Christmas, which isn't always the case. Certainly, if you are somebody that can struggle with, with maybe being at home or maybe not seeing your friends as much, and certainly maybe when it comes to having to have that time when we're with family. Because let's face it, some families get on and it's the best time of year for them. However, you have got to bear in mind, if not for yourself, maybe your friends, that that's not the case for everybody. So how can you make your Christmas as best as it can be? How can you make your Christmas as simple as can be? Well, here is some steps for you to do. My first one is I want you to, instead of about giving presents, I want you to recognize the importance of your presence when it comes to maybe those family gatherings that actually it's about maybe you putting down your phone or coming from your bedroom and actually being present. If they're playing board games, if they're um, playing on a console, be with them, be with them. Because the harsh reality, it brings a lump to the back of my throat, is your family members won't always be there for you to celebrate because the circle of life is something that it brings heartache and grief is the ultimate price that we have to pay for love therefore i don't want you to miss out on making memories because if i could have that time with some people in my life again wow i would have jumped at it but obviously when i was younger i just wanted to spend it on my own i just wanted to be on my phone not that i had a phone until i was 14. however you get my point so instead of about giving presents and things like that I want you to have a certain element of presence in the room and really be there. If you are somebody that enjoys your own company and does struggle to sometimes interact with other people, then make sure that you have that space to retreat to. Because sometimes it's really nice if we are feeling overwhelmed to know that we have that quiet place to go to or that space where at least we'll be on our own. 
if you need to communicate that with family members to let them know that if you have a signal or a certain word or send them maybe a message of an emoji which just means that you need time out then do that it's about you having that place where if it, you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed in the moment that you know when that is the right opportunity for you to leave the table the room the gathering then at least you can do so it's just about and if you're going to a party then maybe it might be that you need to get some fresh air or go to the toilet or something like that where you can just create your own calm your own calm within the chaos another one of my my top steps is please don't forget your manners. And I know that this sounds really silly and even though all my videos are for young people, this, this would be good for adults as well. I just want you to remember how much effort goes into Christmas from other people and that even if it's, you know, dinner's a disaster, which will more than likely happen in my house because I'm doing Christmas this year. Um, it's about having this certain element of, of being grateful for what they've tried to do or at least the effort that they've gone to. So manners is so important, it's key, because then what you can do is you can at least show your appreciation for what effort they have done. Another step is about having your support network. Now, obviously you're not gonna be seeing your friends over the, the festive holidays, maybe as much. However, you can still stay connected with them, um, video call, messenger, and things like that. So it's just about making sure that if you are feeling overwhelmed or stressed, that you have that support network. Don't forget that in the description box below, I have always got um, different charities um, and contact numbers that you can call, you can go online to and reach out if and when you're struggling. So please don't think that you've got to keep it quiet, keep it in and not let anyone know because there are people out there that are, that are professionals that can listen to you um, or at least read that message because they sometimes do online counselling service. Couth or Shout UK in particular, they are amazing. It's a text message counselling service. Um, so they'll be there for you. And yes, you, you've got your friends. Obviously, sometimes when we are feeling overwhelmed, we might just have to check in and say to our friend, have you got the emotional space to listen to my worries right now? Because maybe they're going through their own difficulties. But yes, just don't hold it in. Reach out and have that support network. If you're somebody that is prone to having panic attacks, maybe um, when you're surrounded by other people or in a busy room, I want you to kind of plan your evacuation. I want you to, to plan your distractions. Now, I don't want us to do this in our, so then in our heads, oh, you know, I'm gonna have a panic attack. I want this to be, if I was to have a panic attack, what could I do? And don't forget that there's simple breathing exercises, so you just finger tracing where you go up and down. So you can do that when you're in a crowded room, maybe if you're at the dinner table. And with that, it's just about that focus, okay? It's also about just doing a triangle in your hand. So it's literally breathing in and out. In and out. Can you see that? Breathing in and out. In and out. Okay, so it's just about having those distractions. Another one for us um, females um, is having maybe um, a hair clip because sometimes that can be really quite good to fiddle with or maybe blue tack or something like that if you're prone to being a fidgeter. So then it's just about you feeling equipped if you were to have a panic attack that you at least have those distractions planned and hopefully have that, that kind of evacuation plan of where to go if you were feeling it. So there you have it. It's about making sure that you're kind of embracing this festive period rather than dreading it. And don't forget that I'm here each and every week with a new video and you're never on your own. And don't forget to check out the, the TikTok platform because that's, that's growing. Anyway, take care and stay awesome. Bye everybody.